In this episode, we're going to talk about how to comment inside PHP. And this is going to be a really short episode because commenting is really not that difficult. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and take a look at these two lines that I wrote here. And let's say I want to comment out one line of code. Now, in order to do that, we're going to go ahead and go in front of the code. Then we're going to write backslash backslash. And as you guys can see, we just commented out just one line of code. Now, what if I want to comment out more than just one line of code? What we can do is we can actually, instead of the backslash backslash, we can write backslash multiply. And everything that comes after this comment tag is going to get commented out. So everything down here, even the HTML tags are going to get commented out. Now, in order to stop this again, after the part where we wanted to stop, we're going to say multiply backslash. So just the opposite of the starting comment and everything that's in between these two tags are going to get commented out. So one reason you might want to comment, and again, you know, this is basically just how you comment, but a lot of times when you have PHP code, you're going to see people who write something like, let's say I'm writing a function that does something specific. I can say this gets something from the database. I can actually leave this comment and everything that comes after here, I can actually, you know, start writing code. We can do, you know, like a function or we can do something that does some kind of code in here. So now we know that this function gets something from the database. So you're going to see a lot of commenting inside PHP because PHP can get quite messy. And it's really important that you do actually comment what stuff does when you code PHP. Otherwise, in the future, you won't actually be able to tell what something does. Well, you might be able to tell if you look through the code, but it's just much easier just to have a comment that says what this specific code actually does. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you guys next time.